largely when we're talking about avian influenza uh, cases affecting humans, this is in people who have had close contact with poultry or other types of birds that could carry or get infected with avian influenza. Often in these outbreaks, you'll see a handful of cases, perhaps even more, of people who've had no contact with uh, a sick bird as part of the outbreak, but instead got it from somebody else who got it from a sick bird. Now that's not very, doesn't suggest very efficient human-to-human -human transmission, but it does get us a little concerned. When we start to see really highly efficient transmission between people, human-to-human -human transmission of a novel strain, something that in our general population has not seen, that is when we get really concerned that this could be the next pandemic strain. Avian influenza viruses infecting humans are similar in many ways to human influenza viruses infecting humans. It's often spread through respiratory droplets or other respiratory kinds of secretions from person to person. Uh, often the person who's getting it from a sick bird is getting it through their droppings or things like that. Uh, but when it's spread from person to person, it's through their respiratory secretions, usually through droplets. If somebody were to go uh, near poultry, uh, whether in the United States uh, or elsewhere in the world, and develop some sort of respiratory infection, that they let their healthcare provider know, hey, I had this exposure. I was in Shanghai at an open uh, poultry market, and, and you know, five days later, I started getting sick. Uh, these sorts of things. That way it's on the radar of the healthcare provider.